Hey guys, so this is a quick video on creating a SOLIDWORKS animation. I'm not using SOLIDWORKS basic motion or a SOLIDWORKS motion analysis here, just an animation, okay? And first thing I want to do is, is decide whether I want the cam SOLIDWORKS to control the camera of the model or myself, and I want to control that. So um, go to orientation of camera here and right click on that and say turn off, turn off the key creation for the, the orientation of camera views, okay? That means that it's not going to control that. I'm going to stay in this view the whole time. Even if it spins around, it'll stay from starting in a front view. Next, I want to have the mo this this piece be vertical here. I want to have a, a vertical start point, okay? So I can kind of track where this goes. Then once this, the camera is set now, my view and my position is set, now I can begin kind of moving forward. So for the first two seconds, I'm going to grab this orange line, move it up to two here. For the first two seconds, what do I want to do? I want to have this move um, 90 degrees to here, okay? And so notice when you do that, it starts to calculate the movement for the first two seconds. And this is the green little line here is actually the crank moving, okay? And it drags along these mates as well down below along with it, okay? Bring this. And um, next is for the, for the next two seconds up to four, I'm gonna bring this around to the bottom here like this. So it's like vertical like that. And it calculates that. I'm going to go up to 6, and make sure this is straight on here, and bring this up to here. And then um, for the last two seconds, I'm going to bring it back around to the top, like this. And notice this arm is going to come in out here, and it's okay. It will not do that during the animation, let's say, which I hit calculate. Calculate calculates all the, the motion studies, so are the animations. I'm going to click on this and have it calculate it. Okay, and then notice that the um, sometimes when you're when you're viewing this, like Solvers continues to move this the camera around. Uh, the way to stop that is to actually grab in the orientation camera views, notice it's creating like a movement here. So if I bring this back here to zero, that deletes it and not just stays in the view that I wanted. So that's maybe one option here if that starts to create that during the um, during the calculation. Okay. Next thing is what I want to do is to um, I'm going to stop it here, and I'm going to do the timeline over here and go past here. For the next two seconds, I want to. Um, right click and change the transparency during the next two seconds, which is this, um, I believe it's the purple magenta line here. Okay, and then for up to 12 seconds, um, I want to have it go back to a solid. Okay, so as I, as I calculate that, it's just showing that right there. Okay, also I want the um, this to continue on through here, so I'm gonna bring this up to here. And have it calculated all the way through, and we'll try that. All right. Um, if I want the transparency to be changing, this is when it changes to a transparency. If I move this, if I move this to the middle here, that means that um, it's going to go through this now. So it hits transparency full on at six seconds now because I moved that key point. It goes back to the solid, and then so the transparency is like getting up right in the middle there. All right, and I'm going to stop it here. If you wanted to add things like a you know rotate around the model with a camera, you could do that here. Um, you can add an exploded view if you've done that within the assembly. You can add it here as well. I've done a couple options to do that. Okay. That's the basic idea of adding um, key points and changing back kind of the transparency and um, kind of making adjustments in your timeline. Okay, hopefully that helps. Have a good day. Bye.